Hello everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Liz. I'm Rob. And this is our faithful sighthound, the Whippet Sally. We are on a Lagoon 42 in Preveza in Greece at the moment. And a single top tip for European delivery. Over to Rob. Well, probably one of the best things is to get the Australian registration happening as soon as possible. That includes the application for the MMSI um, because it takes quite some weeks uh, waiting for the Australian government to do their thing. And uh, before you know it, you're sitting twiddling your thumbs in Lasab waiting for paperwork when you just want to get going. I think it took ours about a fortnight to get through and we decided to leave before ours turned up. And it arrived the day after we left and trying to get it to La Linea was miserable. So yeah, wait for your registration and MMSI number before you leave La Saab. So make sure you understand the process before you leave Australia. It's one of those things that you think, oh, I'll do it when I get there, and you never do. And then it's miserable. But anyway, that was our experience. Question, what is your best experience so far? Our best experience would have to be meeting all the different people along the way. Um, lots of Kiwis, lots of Aussies, um, lots of Swedes and Dutch. And also a lot of people in the countries where we visit because of Sally. We walk around the street and she's so unusual over here that everybody stops to have a pat or say hello. And next thing you know, we're getting tips on things to see, invited to people's places and out for dinner and all sorts of stuff. So it's actually quite exciting and it's lovely. It's a very social environment too for us. Yeah, very. So the next question is, what has been your worst experience? And for us, Probably having our dinghy stolen in Syracuse, uh, that's in Italy. Uh, we were lucky, we had friends on a Lagoon 52 that were at the same anchorage with us and they were able to help us get to the police and get a booking in a marina so that we could then uh, organise to get another dinghy. But yeah, that wasn't very pleasant, but that's uh, Sicily apparently. Yeah, the mafia still exists. <laughs> what, what has been your favourite spot? Um, our favourite spot is, is quite a few, but certainly Montenegro has been very good. It's very pretty. Uh, Kota and Tavat, all those areas. Um, plus the Montenegro people are very helpful. They assisted in uh, getting a new dinghy for us and outboard. And the guy bent over backwards to uh, accommodate the officials, so it wasn't it was a relatively streamlined process for us. Otherwise it would have been a roadblock and a half, not talking their language. Well, they, they organised for us to buy the outboard and the dinghy tax-free and uh, they were very proactive with that, which was really nice. So it just meant we had to go up to Croatia, leave the country, go to Croatia for a night or two and then come back. And uh, that was pretty cool. So yeah, big tick for Montenegro. Very pretty and lovely people. Lovely people. Why would you recommend taking delivery in France? Money. Well, <laughs> firstly, that's where they make the bucks. <laughs> Um, obviously one of the attractions to us was the saving on the delivery fee, which is a significant amount. Um, plus we want to have a look around the Mediterranean anyway, so it sort of and worked I'll, for us. It and also us. deferring the tax that we have to pay on the boat when we come back to Australia. So we don't know what the tax is going to be, but we've deferred it. And so far we've been away for 18 months and uh, probably be away for another three years, we guess. So um, yeah, saving the money, plus the adventure, getting to know your boat, um, the big unknown. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit freaky getting out there and not knowing what's coming up next. Getting to know the different weather over here, but no, it's all, all in all been really good. So yeah, mm. money's the big one. <laughs> That's right. We learned quite a lot just travelling around the Mediterranean and just experiencing a whole lot of, load of different uh, people, foods, environments, the weather, as Liz says, is quite surprisingly different from Australia. Um. But the biggest thing from my perspective, and a big tick to TMG and Rob Sturch and Rowan, um, they've been fantastic with their support. If we've had any issues, we get in touch with them and they go out of their way to help us. And so they've yeah. made buying this boat in Europe such a pleasant experience. And yeah, I'll give them a 10 out of 10. It's been great, because we've had some, heard some experiences with other people on other lagoons, not just the 42, and some of them have been nightmares. So big thumbs up to um, John and Rob and Rowan. Really appreciate it. So 
Th G thanks to you good. guys, you've been really, really good. So big thumbs up, and if you're going to buy a lagoon, buy it from TMG.